angelic visitation, the invocation of blood and water. Welcome, brother, last time I related to you the seventh appearance of the Lord in my life, but for a time the Lord was not coming, however, his angels appear to me every week and every month, I mean, Every month the Lord sent his angels to me with a message and teaching I am supposed to deliver to his people, and in this month of August 2019, when the angels of the Lord appeared to me, on that day we sang all night songs of praise and worship. The angels of the Lord gave me the theme of the message that the Lord has prepared for his church for this month of August, for every month I experienced angelic visitation by bright angels who manifest in order to deliver to me the monthly teaching from the Lord, right from the beginning when the Lord Jesus himself appeared to me, he told me, Joshua, I will show you things that nobody knows and nobody ever thought about, these will be new things and hidden mysteries, some people will accept it and others will reject it, basically when I came to earth in flesh, I brought innovation and new things, as a result, Pharisees and Sadducees and teachers that were attached to the law could not bear it, the Lord Jesus said to me, Joshua, what is in the Bible is just to review a segment of the celestial and eternal mystery, hidden there will be revealed, I mean, they are the hidden mystery that will be revealed to you, these revelations will be tough for some people, I will instruct you when to reveal these mysteries and where to reveal them for fear of scandalizing the weak that will not be able to bear, brothers, last month the angel of the Lord appeared to me and taught me the mystery or prayer, when the angel elaborated on the mystery or prayer, the angel explained to me that when we begin our prayer, we must learn to invoke the water, the blood and the spirit for when Lord Jesus died on the cross, the water and blood came out of his side and he gave up the soul, John 19:30. when Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost, John 19:34. but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side, and forthwith came the rout blood and water, the angel gave me the passage 1 John 5 to 6 8 6 this is he that came by water and blood, even Jesus Christ, not by water only, but by water and blood, and it is the spirit that beareth witness because the spirit is truth, 7 for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, eight and there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. The angel told me Joshua, tell God's children to learn to invoke the Holy Spirit, they must also learn to invoke the blood of Jesus, however, most of God's children are failing to invoke the water that came out of the Lord's side when he was pierced yet on that day water alongside blood came out of him when he was pierced, he came not only with blood but also with water. The angel of the Lord told me. When people sinned in the old covenant, they came to the temple with animals for sacrifice and for sanctification, moreover, they were supposed to do purification by water, the animal blood was the covering of sin. The water was for purification, in this dispensation the blood of Christ is for sanctification and the water that came from the Lord's side is for purification, Exodus 30 verse 17 to 21 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a lava of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash with all, and thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein, for Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet thereat when they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto the Lord, so they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not, and it shall be a statute forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generations, the great purpose of this water was the washing and cleansing of the priest from all defilement. The angel told me, when you begin your prayer, First and foremost, you must invoke the blood for sanctification and the water for purification, then you can call the Spirit of God for anointing and power, the salvation of the soul and the body.